it is 1100 years before the birth of Christ. The tribes of Israel have now settled in the hills and the valleys by the river Jordan. To their despair, a heathen people called Philistines have brought them fear and cruelty, poverty and enslavement. It is here then, in the settlement of Zorah, that a son is born to a farm woman who has been barren all her life. He is bold, rebellious, and he lives with but one thought, one commandment from God to deliver his people from the Philistines. He is called Samson. Going to eat before we leave? Yes, Father. Come then. Good morning, my son. Did you sleep well? Yes, Father. Very well. Good. We have a long way to go. for the pleasure of your bride on this day of days and this night of your night. <laughs> of us to take him to the river. We didn't take him anywhere, little Aaron. He was just letting us have some fun. Don't do that. This marriage is a plague upon us. All of us shall suffer. No, we must trust. Trust him. Nah. We must. Well, are we going to leave now, or have you changed your mind? We leave in a minute. Micah, when are you going to stop? When I'm dead. Why take so many? Gifts. Wouldn't look nice if you came empty-handed, huh? We'll get there as quickly as we can. Don't worry about us. You know, I love you both very much.
They tell me he's rich, your father-in-law to be. I hear he buys up land from all our people, and then he enslaves them. Oh, is that what you heard? Can you tell me why, in God's name, you chose a Philistine for your bride? I'm commanded by God, my Oh. I don't know the answer. Oh, you mean God commanded you to marry a Philistine? That's right. Oh, well, then I hope at least that she pleases you. <laughs> she does please you, doesn't she? The leopard is dead. I want that lion killed, no matter what it costs. Why would a caravan stop here? Philistine soldiers from Gaza. We'll turn to the north and go around them. No. Samson! Samson! Open up. Open up. Let me do it. Your Excellency, why should we waste any more of our men? Let me use the bow and arrow. No. We'll move on. No. The Lady Delilah is deeply distressed by the death of a leopard. She offers any man who will kill the beast a bracelet of rubies set in gold. So, let the first man to claim the prize step forward. I command you, step forward! Cowards! Can we be of any help? No, you can't. Move on! But you're excellent. You! Get back! Get back, I said. There's no weapon. <laughs> I don't know who he is. He carries no weapon. No weapon? No. Tribe of Dan. Samson? The most devoted friend of mine. Samson? Not the same man who would dare to marry the daughter of Roy. This very day, Your Excellency. 
And though he's wounded now, I'd wager that he's still looking forward to his wedding night. My lady wishes you to have this. For killing the beast, sire. It's yours. You may tell your good lady that Sansom requires far more. More? Tell her. He requires ten such bracelets. Ten? They'll be used for food for my people. He refused it, my lady. Do you know who she is? She's called Delilah. And she rides with the governor. She rides with anyone who has the purse. sealing of the contract by your fathers. You will live from this day forward as one. May the gods protect you. May you prosper. Governor of Gaza. <laughs> Your Excellency, I, I believe you have already met my daughter. Yes, I have. <laughs> and um, may I humbly present my new son-in-law, her husband, Samson. Yes, we too have met. Oh. A man of extraordinary strength. Indeed, that's why I'm here. I intend to commission him as a member of my garrison. Uh, well, uh, You have other plans, huh? It's just that uh, I had hoped that he would abide with us. That is, the, the men of your garrison are not allowed... permitted to have their wives join them. Well, for a year, he may do 
without her. Yes, certainly. No. What? Oh, I said no. I refuse to join your garrison. I refuse to serve you. Simpson! Do forgive me, please, as my country manners. I know I should well be dazzled by your godlike appearance, and yet I hear that all true gods carry thunderbolts upon them. Especially when they make demands of ordinary human beings. You do carry thunderbolts, don't you? Oh, I fear I offend you once again. Sometimes I give offense without meaning to. I told my new father here how our people breed men to do his work for him, and he, too, for some reason, took offense. I won't deny it. You uh, Philistines can pay for the land. You can buy it up, all of it. But then, you never made the land, or the sea, or the sky, did you? <laughs> <laughs> Unless I'm wrong. Unless I fail to recognize the true God. Can it be? I still see no thunderbolts. <laughs> Not even one small thunderbolt. Time to stop oh, it right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Your Excellency. Welcome. At least here tonight you shall dine like a god upon silver plates with enough food for ten garrisons. Accept our generosity. I have a rich wife. Please, Your Excellency, you must forgive him. The wine, he meant no harm. The music, Hanna, the music! Come, Your Excellency, anything you wish. I am your servant. I will make sure that your men are made comfortable without. Come, Lieutenant. Come, Your Excellency, please sit down. Come, come. Do you feel better now, Samson? You may think that it's courageous to make fools of these people, to risk your life. Do you realize how difficult you're making it for the rest of us? Sit, please. Your Excellency, uh, Lieutenant. I do hope you understand, Your Excellency. Since my wife died, Verinia has become my very life. I'd do anything for her. Indeed, I'm not witness to that. I couldn't stop her. May then God help you, Rob. I mean, of course, our God. Sid can never take his eyes from you. Please, can't we live now? Now, so early. Would you insult the governor of Gaza? <laughs> Master, kind people, your indulgence in a game of wits. I will give you a riddle of the ages from the lands beyond the desert. Listen carefully. What is it that flies forever and rests never? What? Is there no answer? What do you offer in return, magician? I offer you the worship of your wisdom, Your Excellency. Oh. Then I will give you the answer. It is the wind. Oh. <laughs> Sire, I would that I had a better person to reward you. I will help you, magician. Samson. Master, you have a better purse? I have a better riddle. If I may ask, Your Excellency, how many men do you bring with you here tonight? You call that a riddle? I will give you a garment to wear for each and every soldier. Oh. We are here with 30. 30 if... garments, Your Excellency, if you can answer my riddle. Well, out of the eater came forth meat. Out of the strong came something sweet. That's no riddle. That's a rhyme without reason. A trick. You wish to forfeit your garments so quickly? Think about it. I will give you the evening to find an answer. But for now, I beg to leave your godlike company and take the pleasures offered an ordinary man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I must have the answer. But Your Excellency... I must know. You will give me the answer by morning, and you will not fail.
Do you see how he insulted the governor? Father, it was only for... No! No one can make an enemy of Sidka. He has the power of the Philistine League behind him. He can destroy us. Then we shall keep them apart until Sidka leaves. It's too late. The mischief's been done. He's obsessed by finding the answer for that riddle. What difference does it make? If we are to have any peace from this day forward, you must find the answer. No, I can't. You must. You will. Would you have me betray my husband? Yes. We must have the answer by morning. You must do it. For me. Why did you have to taunt him so with foolish games that have no meaning? Everything I've ever said to Sitka has a meaning. little time for games and riddles that even a child could answer. Oh, my luck. This rustic lout from the wilderness is still looking for his answer. Shall we indulge him? Do we have time? No, sir. Oh, too bad. Anything you wish. Tell him. Out of the mouth. No. Out of the eater came forth meat. The lion, of course. We were witness to its death. And then? Oh, yes. Out of the strong came something sweet. His carcass, I presume. A cage of bones for the wild bees to hive. What a great pity that his wits cannot match his strength. But then perhaps 
You can harness the lout and put him to work on a plow in your fields. Thank you very much for your wonderful hospitality. You will deliver the 30 garments as promised to the garrison in Gaza by this evening. Samson? Samson? Tell me more. I want to know everything about him. Who? That man. I'm profoundly disinterested, Delilah. Ah, you can't deny it, Sitka. He had no weapon against a lion which you killed how many? Three of your men? If it pleases you, I will concede his strength. Yes, it pleases me. He's a country bore, Delilah. I think you would tire of him very soon. You don't know me. Hmm. I have a very simple nature. I know. A very simple nature. With expensive taste. Does he ever come to Gaza? Who? Does he ever come to Gaza? I have no idea. At the moment, he owes me 30 garments on a wager. If he arrives without them, I will find great pleasure in arresting him. <laughs> you really think your men can hold him? More readily, I'm afraid, than I'm able to hold you. to the governor and inform him that his debt, won by deceit, is now paid. Samson! Look! Look. Look out there. What you see is buried two meters deep. It holds the stoutest of our prisoners with their heads bound to the ground and flogged till the blood is drained from their bodies. Jackals can be heard howling in the night and in the morning. They have removed the prisoner without a trace. So I ask you again, have you brought payment of the wager? The payment is here. <laughs> is that your answer? <laughs> <laughs> Now, you will take their garments to the governor. Bertie, no more, no less. done, Samson. You've now set him in deadly hate against you. That's so be it. Well, there's your reward for marrying a Philistine. Micah, uh, my old friend, don't you ever let up. If I were you, I'd give her up. 
divorce the woman. Come back to us. Micah, what? Leave him alone. Well, don't tell me. <laughs> People from the village of Nauru. Last night, the Philistines burnt it to the ground. Look at that. Friends ever since we were children, Micah. And I treasure our friendship. And you are right, partly. Tomorrow I will go to the house of Raul and claim my wife. I shall return with her to my village. You won't go alone. We will give you escort and warrant your safety. Move it! Pick it up! Do it! Now! Malik! Lieutenant Malik! Move it! Tell me, where did it happen? Who told you? <laughs> that no one in Gaza hasn't heard by now. Bury it! Where did it happen, Malik? Hmm? Tell me. Over there. Where? In the barracks. He came without a weapon, didn't he? <laughs> they told me 21 men were hurt. <laughs> no. How many? 11. And he had no weapon. I'll tell the governor you're here. I didn't come to see the governor. Your Excellency. Your Excellency. What did she want? Nothing, Excellency. What did she want? She wanted to know where, that is. She wanted to know the place where Samson and the soldiers fought. She wanted to know how many were wounded. Where is he now? I'm told he was last seen returning to the House of Roth. I want every soldier in the garrison to stand ready. Now? Now! We leave before nightfall. And when we are through with this night's work, there'll be nothing left of Samson but his charred bones. <laughs> What are the others with him? What others? Roth and his daughter. We don't spare those who would take in marriage, Adana. Now, Malak, where is his strength now? Archer, do your bow! Hold them with him! Let no one escape!
with us. Stay with us. Why shouldn't I be? I think the loss of 21 men... It wasn't 21! ...by just one man. That wouldn't be easily forgotten. I don't concern myself with problems that no longer exist, Delilah. Problems are threats. Ah, uh, what does it matter? Samson is dead. He lies in the smoking ashes of the House of Raw. Tragic conflagration. So there you have it, no more Samson. I trust we won't have to talk about him again. Soldiers are attacked in the very barracks of my own house. An isolated incident. I tell you, Your Worship, that these, these people of the wilderness, these Hebrews, are the heart and core of our resistance. Your Worship. Uh, the governor of Ashdod. If we should set out to destroy these people, who would do our work? And who's going to pay for this policy of war? This man, Samson the Danite, he's been killed, hasn't he? I've told you before, I'll say it again. They must all be killed or driven into the sea. And indeed they will be, Sitka. We are pledged to that, but not at this time. No, for the moment we will keep them in bondage. Captain. Your Worship, Your Excellency, forgive me, but we've just received word that the port of Gilead is in flames. What? Every structure lies burned to the ground. You tell us we have peace. How did this happen? What started the fire? Well, sir, they tell me. I know it's going to be hard to believe, but they say foxes. Foxes? Foxes! They were seen dragging burning ropes behind them through the field. Who told you? Several people saw it before they reached the port. One of the merchants swears he saw someone else running with the foxes. His hair was blowing in the wind, and he was howling like a wild animal. Did he recognize the man? Yes. He said he was of the same family of Danites that bartered grain for goat's milk. What man? He must have been mistaken. What man? Samson. They told me the house of Roll burned to the ground. They told me you were dead. They were wrong. I came to collect the payment of your gratitude. Ten gold bracelets. Ten? Is that all? Enough to feed my people for a few weeks. I see. You expect me to keep them alive? Yes. Why? Because you have no other choice.
Are you going to kill me? I could never deprive the world of one so pleasing to look upon. Maybe your God wouldn't approve. Though, of course, he must approve of thieves. Yes, the Philistines. Perhaps. Oh, it's so easy to blame everything on the Philistines. Do you blame your floods and your droughts on us, too? If they could be purchased, you would pay for them. I? The richest among them. Yes, well, I have many gods, you see, and they all take very good care of me. Would you simply just take good care of yourself? You have my gold. You like my wine? this way, too? All of them. Discreet. Very. and destroy him before he destroys us. You have knowledge of his whereabouts? The tribe of Dan has gone back to the wilderness. I want 50 men from each of your garrisons. You intend to follow him into the wilderness? An act of invasion? It's liable to bring every tribe they have against us. I want Samson. Then bring him here. How? Do you think he will come of his own free will? No, let his own people bring him. They would never betray him. True, but... They do have a frontier force maintained by us to keep the peace. If any one of them breaks the law, it is their duty to arrest him. So I say, let the frontier force bring him here. They refuse. They won't touch him if they know we intend to kill him. Never a mention of a killing will they hear. This council merely wishes to question. Set a fire. But he will never reach this chamber because you, Sitka, will meet him at the outskirts of the city. There's still time. I can still claim my freedom. I can still forsake my God. It's a God's will that you throw your life away. If I'm brought before, then I'll have to listen. My words will be recorded. No, what will you tell me, the Philistines? They won't listen to you. I beg you, go to Kalpa. Go anywhere beyond the desert. Just stay there for a while. I'll tell them that I couldn't find you, that you escaped. I'll tell them that you left the country. Micah. You have your orders. Carry them out. I'll protect you as long as I can. As best I can. I know you.
Colonel with us. My orders are signed by all ten governors on the council. I will deliver the prisoner to them. I command you now to leave the prisoner and move on. They want to kill you. No, they won't. Believe me, I know they're going to kill you. Do as they tell you. As my orders are signed by the council, they cannot be countermanded. Hold your commission well, Captain. You serve the Frontier Force with dedication and loyalty. I command you. Thank you, Your Excellency. Now, if you'll... Boyka! Lieutenant, I commission you now as Captain of the Frontier Force. You wish to return with your men, or do you perhaps prefer to join your predecessor? Will you need anything else? I need nothing. You've brought me nothing. There's no one here, you understand? Yes, my lady. Elon, you understand? There's no one here. Is it true what they told me? I don't know what they told you. That you defeated an entire army? <laughs> if that were true, I wouldn't be here now. I'd be the head of my council table and my people would be ruling this country. Sidka's troops tried to oh, kill yes, you. They seemed intent upon taking my life once again. You denied them once again? Well, I thought it best. Under the circumstances. Why'd you come back? 
More bracelets? No. Then why? Samson? Why? Silver. Ha! Huh? I need silver. Twenty talents of silver. More food? For weapons. I see now. I'm expected to buy weapons for your people. And the will of God. Not my God. I know that. You really think the tribe will follow you? They must. I wager you another 20 talents. They have the courage to follow anyone, not for any amount. Well, you'll see. When our people arrive at the gates of the city, you'll know then. Hmm, how certain you are. And arrogant and insolent. <laughs> yes, perhaps. But then your little pet's hair grow fat and heavy. While there are children who are starving. That's the way of the world, Samson. You're born into it. You can't change that. I can. And shall. You're arrogant. And you're insolent. Yes. And certain. I, too, am certain of one thing. You'll be back. I must speak with the elders. They don't want you here, Samson. They won't talk to you. Why? They are frightened about you. With me? They heard what happened to you at Gaza. They're afraid you'll bring the Philistines against us. We want peace! Oh, then you shall have it. And you'll slave for the Philistines the rest of your lives. And you'll starve. And let your children starve. Is that the kind of peace you want? Chains and slavery? I tell you, their chains are weak. They can be broken. They have armies! Oh, and God willing, we shall have armies, too. And we shall have weapons. And every tribe along the Jordan shall march together and we shall claim our land once again. No, we are too few. Have you forgotten Gideon, who led 300 men against thousands? I'm telling you, with God's purpose, we cannot fail. You are not God. You will bring us death and destruction. I bring you only one thing, the right to live unchained and a servant only to God. Be patient, Samson. We can't patience. help you. We've had 20 years of patience. Twenty years of poverty and enslavement. You can't expect us to believe in oh, God. Oh, just... dear God, if only I had the voice of a prophet or a king. How can I ever help you people if you refuse to hear my voice? We wish to live! Then you shall surely die. I think you are lost. We still have faith in God. God will forsake you. All of you. You are doomed. Sams! Sams! Where will you go? To someone who knows my people better than I. Moses, I know 
the Book of the Dead? I do. Mm. What I'd really like, though, would be a living God. What? Virtuous or evil? <laughs> matter. Hmm? No, I suppose it doesn't. For you. Hmm. Why wouldn't they follow you? Why did your people reject your call to arms? They reject everything but their own shadows. They hold to nothing but their own lies. What are you going to do? I spoke to five of the governors. They refused to send any troops at this time. Sidka. Sidka! We'll send forces against them in the spring, rid ourselves of the troublemakers, but now... he's only one man. One man with the strength of a demon. We don't want to aggravate matters. But if he has the strength you speak of, we must somehow find a path to his weakness. Mustn't we? How kind of you to accept my invitation on such a short I accepted purpose. nothing. Your soldiers came to my house and brought me here. Oh, really? We have been hunting, as you can see. I thought you might enjoy the wild game. Whatever your game is, Sidker, I don't enjoy a command appearance. Out, 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 out. I'm told you haven't received any of your admirers for many weeks now. Those who've been so generous to you. Can't bear the tedium of listening to rich men any longer. Oh, I see. Well, tell me then, how do you replace those of great wealth? With someone of great strength, perhaps? 
We know of his whereabouts, of course. But I have no intention of turning your charming estate into a battleground. Why not? You can lose your man there as easily as anywhere else. Is that what fascinates you so? Hmm? His strength. Do you consider yourself strong enough to hold him even for a moment? Yes. But if you should lose everything, Delilah, all that you own, hmm? would Samson then be enough? Yes. I will put half of my estates in your name this very day. All that I own, from Gaza to the Straits, yours and mine. Hmm? You don't believe me? I will execute the contract and place it before the council when you become my wife. Well? What do you want? Samson. No. I'm only asking you for the secrets of his strength and how it may be broken. <laughs> That's all, hmm? Yes. I don't your lands become your wife by betraying Samson. Would you rather betray your own people? Think carefully, Delilah. In spite of your passion for him, you might indeed be very sorry for a long time. You keep sorrow for yourself if you try and take him from me. Elon! Nikki! I will see that your bath be made ready, my lady. Yes, see that my bath be made ready, my lady. <laughs> Where's something? He's gone. He's left. He's gone, my lady. It's true, my lady. When will you be back? Answer me, Elon. I don't know. What did he say? He said, tell the harlot that I love her, that I will not soon forget her. Hear me. Oh, God, hear me. I am lost. Lost. I beg you. Give me a voice, and my people will follow. Oh, God in heaven. Speak to me! I am yours to command. My lady. My lady. Dark you are. You've been living in the sun. In the desert of Sinai. Hmm. You have the look of a wild animal. I've lived like one. Why? 
I was searching for something. What? I've always heard that when God spoke again, he would speak in the desert. Mm, still hold your faith in it? And in my people. I'm going back to them. But you came here. We came to say goodbye. I want to leave you this time. We shall never see each other again. We'll have this night together. We'll have that if nothing else. I thought you had forgotten me. How could I? So you have changed your mind, perhaps. Perhaps. I'll give you what you want. I want him. He would have to be placed under arrest and formally charged. All right. And then released. He's no longer a threat to you, and he'll be of no use to his people. He can give you nothing but poverty. I shall be at your house tomorrow morning, where you will have Samson bound in chains. And we will then discover if he has lost his strength. If I had been born to live as others, then I would take you now to Manzilla. the highest of hills looking down on the great sea. And there we would live for the rest of our lives. Take me there now. I'll give up everything I have. And what must I give up? My God. He's given you nothing. He's given you nothing on this earth. Nothing but distracts. I will never forsake him. What more can I give you? Anything you ask. I ask for nothing. 
and I will take nothing from you ever again. But I have nothing to give you in return. But you do. You could give me a trust. You have that now. That's not true. I've yet to know everything about you. I have no secrets. You have this great strength. For one purpose only, the deliverance of Israel. You always have it? Until the day of my death. Unless. Unless what? Well, it would never happen. What? You still don't trust me. A blade. But an army of soldiers put their swords against you. No, not my body. No edge of blade or sword. It's got even a strand of my hair. No blade ever shall. No cutting edge will be allowed to sever it. That's the source of your strength?
with the tribe of Dan. I arrest you for acts of sedition against the League of Philistine Cities. You'll come with us. Now! Ah. Keep your promise. Be sure I keep mine. Do you still believe in your worthless God? He has betrayed you, Samson. Your people have betrayed you. And what a fool of you to have ever trusted Delilah. Forsake them, Samson. As they have forsaken you. Tell me that you no longer have a God. Tell me. When do you release Samson? The council has requested he appear at the Temple of Dagon for the festival. Why? So our people may see what happens to those who would try to oppose us. That's all. He won't be hurt there. No. They'll simply make sport of him at the festival. Is it so lonely for you, Delilah? I want to see him. I doubt if he wants to see you. What do you mean? I mean that visiting the prisoner won't be that easy to arrange. Arrange it. You won't find it that rewarding. Arrange it. Surely you can wait until... Tomorrow. No. I love you. No. I love you, Samson. You. I didn't know they'd do this no, to me. I trusted please. you. Samson, God. I didn't know. I God. You.
what Dagon has delivered already. Those who will destroy us now stand in this sacred temple, chained and powerless. There is his strength now. Look carefully as you see him. But he cannot see you. Let all enemies of the state behold the mighty Samson. <laughs> To the great god Dagon. Dagon! All praise to Dagon! 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 Dagon!
servant Sheila. It's too late to find your people. Taking him back to the wilderness. My lady, it, it's too dangerous. The people in the streets are mad. Let them see him. Let them know what he's done and remember. And they can remember me too. I was the one who betrayed him. me. I will, my lady. You have a long way to go. came to pass that in his death, a man born to deliver his people from slavery and persecution was able to unite them and lead them against the Philistines, a man who was betrayed and loved by a woman of Gaza, a woman who was known as Delilah.